Russia's in Syria? Russia's in Syria? Yeah, no shit Russia's in Syria. Syria is in Russia's backyard. Hello? Would the US be in Mexico City if the same exact situation were happening there? Fuck yeah. This is common sense, people. Use it. That is rule number one. Rule number two. Russia's in Syria? Good. It's about time that another superpower helped us contain the chaos that's going on in the Middle East. The United States does not have the right or the obligation to fight every war against every enemy on every corner of the world. Those were not the principles that this country was founded on. Don't believe me? Google it. But of course, our politicians would have us believing otherwise. Why? Because our Congress has been bought and paid for by the military industrial complex. But don't be fooled, Warhawks come in all shapes and sizes. And Warhawks like Hillary Clinton and John McCain are more concerned with keeping their campaign donors happy and rich than they are with the needs of the middle class. The wars in Afghanistan and Iraq will cost the American taxpayers over six trillion dollars. And what do we have to show for it? Not a fucking thing. Dear Congress, maybe the American people are really stupid. And maybe we have been asleep at the wheel. But guess what? We're starting to wake up and we can smell the bullshit. If you want war without end, then tell your campaign donors to pay for it. Oh yeah, and by the way, have your own kids fight it this time. We're done. Number three, the Middle East is a fucking mess. And a lot of that has to do with US foreign policy. Case in point, we got rid of Saddam Hussein and Muammar Gaddafi, and what do we get? ISIS and the Benghazi debacle. Hello, people, it's not rocket science, okay? When strong leaders are deposed, it creates the power vacuum necessary for terrorism to flourish. I know this, Putin knows this, terrorists know this, and now you know this too. So act like you know. Look, maybe Assad is a douchebag. Maybe you love the guy, I don't know. The point is, if we get rid of Assad, we're not gonna have anyone to fill his spot. And that's gonna create the type of anarchy that is gonna give rise to terror groups that are gonna make ISIS look like the fucking Boy Scouts. Instead of talking shit about Putin in the media, what we need to be doing is sending that man a thank you note and a fucking fruit basket for his efforts. So that being said, thank you President Putin for doing what you can to contain the chaos that affects both our countries. And thank you, President Obama, for saving the American taxpayers trillions of dollars in war debt and saving hundreds, if not thousands, of American lives. And to the Syrian people, our hearts go out to you. We are deeply sorry that you are suffering such great turmoil in your nation. And it is our truest wish that you will soon find peace in your country. I'm out.